Hey guys, um, just want to give you guys uh, a scenario that happened uh, to me um, at work yesterday. Um, as you know, I'm a correctional officer here in Nevada, and um, I was at work doing my normal routine, working uh, in a level two of facility with only housing uh, with only one officer there housing um, about 48 inmates per wing um, there's a B and C wing I ended up uh, coming in contact with some type of substance uh, at work or inhaled something when one of the inmates were smoking um, it was around 7.30 in the morning, 7.45. I got exposed by it. I ended up uh, passing out, um, falling unconscious. The woke up in the prison infirmary. Found out that I ended up uh, receiving four nasal uh, dosage of Narcan um, after the fourth one that was administered I ended up uh, coming to my eyes were opening I started to know you know just what was happening uh, after that um, they put me into the EMR emergency medical response ambulance and they took me to the hospital as of yesterday um, night I came, started to realize what was happening. Um, found out that two inmates aided to my attention when I fell unconscious. Um, inside the control room, they uh, protected me, aided to my care um, until medic and other officers came. Uh, to administer uh, nasal uh, Narcan. I, I just wanted to tell you guys about um, a Samaritan. Um, Jesus talked about who is your neighbor, who is your brother. And the Samaritan um, aided to uh, a Hebrew man that was robbed by some thieves and since he was a hebrew um a levite passed by him and uh just looked at him and did an aid to him and then a priest uh a levi same thing looked at the the beaten guy that got robbed on the corner of the road and left him but a samaritan uh saw him laying there, took him, um, bandaged him up, took care of his uh, wounds and put him into an inn and also paid an inn to, uh, uh, to take care of him. And whatever expenses that was there, uh, he had to do the, the, the Samaritan pay for it. And uh, Jesus said to them, to the to the Pharisees or the laws so who is the neighbor the person that showed compassion as a correctional officer inmates tending to my aid while I'm unconscious I was a Samaritan and they aided to me uh, to my safety and everything that's a fine line um, to pass. Uh, I mean, that's a that's a hard line to pass, and they they passed it and took care of me. They've been in prison probably up to like ten years. Don't know, but I don't know who they are till this day, and maybe until I get back to work. But I'm still here at the hospital recovering. Got um monitors uh, checking my heart. I did a stress test this morning. My heart is working uh, about eighty percent. But uh, my 
last that I uh, last that I saw my heart rate bumps up to like 72 go down as low as 40 I just want to say man I'm, I'm grateful to everyone that aided to me inmates officers the nurses the doctors there in prison and most of all Jesus even said, you know, tend to those who are sick. I was sick and they tended to me. They cared for me. So just so you know, now you know that uh, you got to treat others with respect, regardless of what position you are, because they'll help you, they'll assist you. And I really appreciate that. Have, you know, have a good day. I'm gonna take a nap. I'm I'm pretty tired still, um, but yeah. Thank you to those inmates that helped a fellow officer like myself. And um, yeah, I'm wearing these regular clothes because I had to do a stress test this morning. They made me jog, which was very uncomfortable. Finding out only 80%. But uh, you can watch uh, and listen to the story of of what Jesus said to I'm so sorry uh, the law the laws and stuff about a Samaritan so have a good night God bless see you and uh, thank you Lord Jesus Yeshua HaMashiach Jesus Christ for uh, anybody that came to my aid the inmates that, that that tended to me when I was unconscious and all the officers and nurses that, that took care of me and, and kept me alive to them I'm still living and breathing and and you, you, you sent those guardian angels to help me. So thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach, Adonai Abba, Emmanuel, I pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you guys. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said unto him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right, this do, and thou shalt live. But he, willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbor? And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him, and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him and went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And on the morrow, when he departed, he took out two pence, and gave them to the host, and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of these three, thinkest thou, was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? And he said, He that showed mercy on him. Then said Jesus unto him, Go, and do thou likewise. Now, the Bible can't just be read. You need to ingest it. You can't just read it. You have to eat it.